Welcome back to Bumblebee. I'm your host, Taylor McWaters. Here are the top 10 deadliest substances that are hiding in plain sight. Yeah, these are all in your house right now, so take a look right after this video is done. Number 10, formaldehyde. You may have heard about this one before at one point or another, but formaldehyde may be all over your entire house. You just don't know it. It's commonly found in cleaning products, lotions, cosmetics, lots of shampoo, so next time your phone's dead and you catch yourself reading those shampoo labels, keep an eye open for this one. This is a big one right here. Formaldehyde is a strong smelling color colorless gas. It's commonly found in building materials. And like I said, it's literally in your home right now, probably. It's in the plywood, it's in glues. Formaldehyde is also found in tobacco smoke. So next time you're breathing in that lovely secondhand smoke, keep that in mind. Maybe take a, take a few steps away. A study found that higher levels of formaldehyde are bound to the DNA in white blood cells if you do smoke. So if you want one more reason to quit in the new year, well, there it is. Add formaldehyde to your quitting list. Number nine flame retardants. The less house fires we have, the better, right? That's pretty much a great way to be. That's where flame retardants came in. They were these chemicals added to furniture back in the day so that if a fire did start, it wouldn't act as fabulous new flint. Instead, these retardants are added to slow it down. Since the 70s, these were added and you can find them in mattresses, you can find in couches, blinds, curtains, carpets, anything that looked cozy, odds are it was flammable back in the day. Now, while it's great that we're not starting fires nearly as much, we're still hurting the environment. Many flame retardants have been removed from the process nowadays in furniture making because they don't break down after they're done their use. And then these chemicals can then build up in people or animals over time. That's no good. That's almost worse than a house fire, really. Number eight, chloroform. This one we've probably heard about one way or another. Chloroform, right? You inhale this, next thing you know, you're asleep. It's horrible, it's no good. Now is chloroform out there just hidden in plain sight? Well, according to the EPA, yes, it is. Just out there lurking. Chloroform is waiting all around us. But don't worry about knocking yourself out on the way to work. It's not how any of that stuff works. Chloroform is often released into the air through bodies of water. It's in the chlorination of wastewater or pools. Now, breathing it in can lead to liver problems and chloroform is created when chlorine mixes with organic compounds. That's when all the magic happens. Back in 2002, there was a study done to measure the levels of chloroform in public swimming pools and there was enough of the chemical that linked back to miscarriages. So yeah, at one point, this was a real hazard. Number seven, non-ilphanols. Remember the Tide Pod challenge when we had to launch a global campaign to get adults not to eat laundry detergent. That was fun. Well, those deadly substances inside contained non-ilphanols. They're more often than not found in laundry detergent or other hygiene products. Again, don't eat any of them. Didn't think I'd have to say that, but here we are in 2022. Don't eat laundry. The EPA has discovered that this chemical can lead to reproductive problems in rodents. And a huge concern for the release of these chemicals, aside from, you know, adults eating them on TikTok, is the aquatic system. NP, as it's also referred to, has also been detected in human breast milk, urine, and blood. So it has traces flowing through us right now as we speak. That's terrifying. Number six, try close in. Brushing is more fun nowadays than ever. The charcoal toothpaste trend, it's so Victorian era. I love it. We love trendy mouth care, I guess. The antimicrobial chemical triclosan has been banned by the FDA. It's an ingredient often added to consumer products in order to reduce bacterial contamination, which sounds great, but side effects, not so much. It was often found in soaps, body washes, cosmetics, and mainly in toothpaste. Now, it's been removed since from most of this stuff, but in 2017, there was a study done by the journal Environmental Science and Technology, and triclosan can apparently build up over time on your toothbrush. Yeah, well, it sits in that dirty SpongeBob square pants coffee mug for months at a time. It builds up over and over so it can absorb into your bloodstream eventually and put your guts and hormones at risk. Yeah, it's actually highly toxic to fish as well. So even though Canada's federal health and environmental ministries say it's safe for humans, aquatic organisms are still at risk. So again, someone's always losing. Number five, DEET. Being a Canadian, I'm forced into the outdoors a lot. All my friends with cottages always want to go up there for weeks at a time. And I'm not a fan of mosquitoes. I'll stay in the water the entire time to avoid any of them. I can't do it. But I know I'm not alone, right? You and I, we go to the cottage, we hold onto the bug spray the entire time, we put that net hat over and just pray till it's over. Well, that ingredient used to keep those pests away, that's called DEET. Now, on one hand, it's gonna ward away whatever's trying to take a bite from you, that's great. But on the other hand, literally, if you get too much of it on you, you'll develop rashes. Now, DEET toxicity isn't common. It usually happens when you fool around with it, like spray it into your mouth or your eyes and stupid stuff like that. So enjoy the outdoors, I guess, but do so responsibly. Don't put any DEET towards your face. Number four 
poison ivy. Leaves of three, let them be. Now, if you're not sure, just don't touch any plants in general, ever. That's my rule, and it's going pretty well so far. If you don't know, don't touch. Now you know. Poison ivy is found all over the United States, and more commonly, in the eastern states. We, of course, have lots up here in Canada. I've been a victim to poison ivy before myself, but let me tell you, it only takes one time to learn. Yeah, that's a horrible, horrible sleep. The itchy rash that you get after you touch the plant, that's caused by urushi oil. Now, this oily resin is stored in the leaves. If you touch any poison ivy, wash this specific oil off as best as you can, or else you're dealing with a rash all week. Horrible, you'll just be scratching, looking like a crazy person on the subway. Also, don't inhale smoke from this plant. If you're thinking about burning away all your poison ivy, maybe that'll solve all your problems. Bad idea, the smoke that'll come from it, that's gonna do all that damage to your insides. Even worse. Number three. Holly. Tis the season. Okay, when I hear about holly or jolly or holly jolly, I don't know, I think of something delicious, right? These, these berries are not delicious. If you see red looking berries anywhere, just don't eat them. You're not gonna have a great holly jolly time. The American holly is pretty common. It's an ornament for the holidays. The American holly, aka Ilex opaca, is a tasty treat as well for birds, but don't copy what they're doing because they can eat poison pellets all day long and still be tweeting tunes. They're fine. They can fly as well. We can't fly, we're human, so let's not copy birds. Right? If we ingest holly, we're welcoming in an alarming amount of toxins. One being illicin, which is a one-way ticket to vomiting and nausea and all that nasty stuff. Now, normally I wouldn't include holly on a list like this, but, you know, because obviously it's not too bad. But, like I said, tis the season, so the more you know. I always grew up thinking holly was fun. I'm like, oh, let's eat some holly berries. Number two, asbestos. Have you ever made the leap of faith and explored your own attic? It's usually pretty creepy and it's also pretty boring. Just a wall of pink, fluffy, pink insulation. It looks fun, but don't touch the stuff at all. Asbestos is a natural mineral made of these thin fibers. Now its primary use was for fireproofing and its origins go back to the first century. It was used mainly as an insulator. Due to its fibers being so fine and heat resistance, it can be added to cement, paper, or cloth. You name it. Its dangers weren't widely known until 1989. That's when the EPA officially banned the use of asbestos. Now it's so fine that you can literally breathe this in. But after that, it's a one-way ticket to lung cancer. You don't want to breathe any of that in. Houses built before the 80s have a higher chance of exposure to asbestos hiding in your walls or your insulation than today. It's a rare type specifically due to asbestos inhalation and it's called mesothelomia. More than 39,000 Americans lose their lives a year because of asbestos related diseases. And finally, number one, arsenic. The deadly poison that supposedly took out George III of England and Napoleon Bonaparte. What is arsenic and why have we heard this name before so commonly? Well, it's incredibly toxic in its inorganic form, but arsenic is a natural component in the ground. So it causes contaminated water, which can then lead to arsenic poisoning. So most of the time, you're gonna develop skin cancer from this. Arsenic has an LD50 around 13 milligrams. The Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry has arsenic on its priority list of hazardous substances. It's a top dog. Right? Obviously, we've heard this name before. Exposure to toxic metals is a common problem that we're still facing today. We can find arsenic today in seafood, rice, or cereal. Yeah, you'd think finding shrimp tail in your cereal is horrible enough. Now we gotta worry about arsenic. Honestly, I don't know which one I'd rather not get. It comes naturally from water, soil, and bedrock, and most commonly in the Midwest United States and areas of Texas. So if you live there, keep your eyes open, I guess. I don't know. Watch out for some arsenic in your Captain Crunch. Those are the top 10 deadliest substances that are hiding in plain sight. I've been your host, Taylor McWater. And I'll see you next time on Bumblebee. Peace.